Hey guys, this is Alfred George Shark, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a free application in the Google Play Store called Auto Memory Manager by Mad Squirrel. It's an application that allows you to manage your memory and potentially speed up your device, so let's take a look. Alright guys, so here we have the auto memory icon itself. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and as you can see it says, Attention, Auto Memory Manager provides an easy way to speed up your phone without the hassle of using a task manager, yada yada yada. We'll hit close. Here we have the help screen which you can uh, continue on or you can skip. We'll hit skip and here we have the experience. Now this is one of those applications that you don't just want to jump into and start messing with stuff before you actually know what you're doing. Um, tapping menu as you can see it pulls up you can hit help. Again continue on with the help if you want to learn how to use this application properly there is 10 different screens to make sure you know what you're doing. Hit done and it'll take you right back to it. You have preferences, which you can check and uncheck error reporting, collect usage data, use expert mode, auto cleanup, show cleanup messages, there's cleanup interval as well, and you can donate as well if you'd like. Tapping menu again, you also have running processes, which you can look at the processes that are actually uh, open right now. If I just hit list, there we have them all right now. Jumping back, tapping menu, we also have the advanced screen, which you can actually apply different settings. Jumping back, as you can see, you have the uh, little four, uh, or three, I should say, um, little settings right here. Aggressive, mild, default. So tapping aggressive, it'll change all the settings for everything. And basically what this is doing is changing the amount of memory, uh, the available, available memory to make sure that your phone stays nice and quick. So that's aggressive. There's mild. You can see how it all kind of dies down a little bit. There's default, which takes it even further a little back. And then you can actually apply these things. You can see there is ads on the application, by the way. But anyway, so there's three settings once again, and you can actually, if you want, set what you want for those settings. So if I want aggressive to be even more aggressive than it is right now, I can do all of that, and I can make that be aggressive and apply that to aggressive. I can do mild as well if I want to make mild just a little bit less, um, uh, or a little bit more mild, I guess. Um, you can do so like that, you can apply that, and then if you want your default, I recommend don't touching the default here because, well, that's stock Android. You kind of want to keep that in case anything starts to happen. Now, I've been using this application for a little while for testing to see if I actually like it. Um, I did clear the data before I started this review. I will tell you guys that I didn't really notice too much of an increase in performance except for when I was running multiple games in the background. Then having everything set on aggressive actually did keep things running just a little bit faster. Um, but if you have a high-end Android device like a Galaxy Nexus or a One S or X or a Galaxy S2 or 3 or any of the you know Droid Razor or Droid 4 you're not really going to have too much of a need to use a, uh, an application like this. If you have one of the older phones like a G1 or a MyTouch 3G or even 3G Slide, any of those uh, any of those type of devices, I would recommend maybe giving this thing a look, seeing what kind of settings you can preset to try to make the application work best for you. But anyways, that right there is Auto Memory Manager. Alright guys, so thanks for watching my review of Auto Memory Manager. You can tell that if you already have a high-end Android device, you're not really going to need an application like this. But if you're still rocking a phone from two years ago because of contracts or things like that, this application can actually be of use to you to actually cap things off and allow your phone to actually take use of only what you want it to take use of. In other words, speed up your phone. So thanks you guys for watching. Have a great day.